One thing that Harry Rocky really forgot was that he was part of this community. Mike shaving his head! So big! You're so big! How did you get that big? And you're not even done growing! This is Arnold the Rottweiler. You don't see him a lot because he stays outside. Because he's huge and he's a little bit destructive, so we don't let him in that often. But he's very sweet. He just looks fearsome because he's sobrang lakanya and he's black. He is black. Hello! You're a good boy, Arnold. Yes, you are. You're just big. You're just big. <laughs> this guy has eaten a lot of stuff this year. Slippers, ceramic pots, stones, frogs, slippers, toys, plastics. You name it. <laughs> Bye. This is Arnold playing with a slipper, which he broke. <laughs> this makes me so happy on so many levels. <laughs> Actually, this is the only time he stayed still. I, I tried putting it on him like five times. And now, he's probably thinking, I'll just give up. She gotta keep trying. <laughs> you seem more like a Grinch than a Santa to me. And, 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 and. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> oh, Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> He's like, I'm not a girl. Stop putting headbands on me. One last try. Hey, never mind. <laughs> Mike shaving his head. <laughs> you know what? Shaving his head, just cutting the sides. Ooh, I never used one of those before. I'm gonna help him with the other side. Oh my god! <laughs> I know, but, 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 hair na Because my, my hair is white. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's hair. <laughs> what used to be here five seconds ago? It's down here. Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. I'm starting off the vlog on a political note again. I saw this piece of news and I was just dumbfounded. Like, what? Okay, so basically Harry Roque has resumed his role as President Duterte's spokesperson because for some reason Salvador Panelo stepped down. I don't know why. So Harry Roque, who was the presidential spokesperson before Salvador Panelo, has reprised his beloved role. And in one of his first few statements after resuming his post, in his official capacity, he said something like, China is the BFF of the Philippines. So if they find a cure for COVID, then we're probably one of the first people that they will share it with. Something to that effect. I will insert the quote here. Wow. What? It was just inconceivable to me. So yeah, basically, that's our only claim to fame nowadays. That we're China's BFF. Isn't that embarrassing? He might as well have said that we're handing over the Philippines to China on a silver platter. Because that's what we've been doing anyway. With this practice dispute, or rather non-dispute, because we're not contesting our jurisdiction over it.
because apparently we're not contesting China's encroachment of it. We're not contesting the many illegal pogos here. Pogos referring to Philippine offshore gaming operations, which is the reason why our country is getting overrun by Chinese nationals. No offense to the Chinese as a race, I am not racist, but I'm definitely against the fact that these pogos haven't been paying the proper taxes to the Philippine government. So yeah, it's no secret that China has really been screwing the Philippines over. But Harry Roque is all too happy to call them our BFFs. It just goes to show that political ambitions will really win over someone's integrity. Because Harry Roque used to be such a respected lawyer in legal circles, you guys. And I know this because attorney Harry Roque was my professor in UP law. And back then, he was a very, very well-respected human rights lawyer. The subject that he taught us was international humanitarian law. So it really was one of the legal subjects geared towards human rights. And he was very eminent in that field. He was really considered prominent an authority in that field. And then all of a sudden, he does a complete 180 and becomes presidential spokesperson just because he wants to run for senator, which was obviously an unsuccessful bid because he did withdraw his candidacy. And when he did become presidential spokesperson, he started spewing out all this convoluted, completely scripted, completely untrue things, which in his good conscience and when he was a respectable lawyer back then, I'm sure that he would never have said. But yun nga, because he did have political ambitions, he wanted to become senator so badly that he was really willing to bargain away his integrity and his reputation as a respected lawyer. So... Another one bites the dust. That's what happens, you guys, when you sell your soul. Sure, Harry Roque became a household name. Because he became presidential spokesperson, siya, he would frequently be on the news. In the news reports, you'd always see Harry Roque, Harry Roque. But just look what happened to his reputation in the legal community. Tergang nasira. I doubt if it can ever be salvaged. Everyone deserves a second chance. I do believe that. But Harry Roque nakatakas na siya sa limelight eh, because he withdrew his candidacy nga for senator and he stopped being the presidential spokesperson. But now he's back in the limelight and he's spewing all sorts of nonsense again. So. <laughs> He did get his second chance. And right now, he's showing us exactly how he plans to use that second chance. Which is basically in a very, very appalling, abhorrent way. One thing that Harry Rocker really forgot was that he was part of this community. He forgot that he is a UP lawyer. And while every lawyer has a responsibility to the court, and to the public, that responsibility to the public is triple-fold when you're a UP lawyer simply because it is the citizenry, it's the Philippine people who put you through law school. So I think Harry Rocky really forgot this responsibility to the public. I think he forgot that he is supposed to serve the Filipino people and not the president. Grabe as in, sometimes the lust for power can really make you forget the values that you used to hold dear. So, when you guys become lawyers, you guys will be put in very tempting positions. Some people will try to seduce you with power, with money, with positions. But you should always remember that the only way to take pride in what you do is if you know that what you're doing is honest, good, decent, clean work. You should be the type of lawyer who can look at yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and say, I was a lawyer for good. I didn't sell my soul, my principles, my morals, my integrity especially. I think that if you can do that at the end of the day, and I know that no matter how difficult it is, I will always make that choice 
to keep my integrity intact, then you can say that you're a great lawyer. Doesn't matter if you never write a book, you never win an award, you never get famous. Doesn't matter. Hats off to you. Because I think that integrity is really the most important value that a lawyer can hope to keep sacred. So, oh my gosh, sorry guys, naging political na naman yung talk ko. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it is part of my life. It is part of my day. I do get worked up and frustrated with all the happenings that are going on. And aside from the fact that this is my outlet, vlogging, I really hope to be able to encourage discussion and disagreement even. Because sometimes when private citizens like you or I are loud enough, then the government hears us. So yeah guys, when you do become lawyers, don't sell your soul for your lofty political ambitions, for that hunger, that desire for power. Don't do it. It's just not worth it. Really, it, it's, it's so much better to live a quiet life away from the spotlight, knowing that you're contributing to the legal practice and to the world in some way, kahit behind the scenes ka, hindi ka nga sikat, hindi ka nga presidential spokesperson, hindi ka senator, congressman, but you know in your heart of hearts that your integrity is intact. And if you do that, even if you don't rise to prominence, you don't become an authority like Harry Roque used to be, you're still gonna be a very good lawyer. And you're gonna be a much better lawyer than Harry Roque currently is. Grabe. I actually do want to get a little bit more in-depth about this Harry Rocket topic. I'll do that in another vlog. But I have really got to get to work right now. I am going to work on a couple of drafts. I have some contracts that I have to finish reviewing. Some emails I have to send out. I am going to try to get the work out in. I'm not going to work out in a few days because I pulled my back a couple of days back. And I keep forgetting that I'm not like 18 years old and I no longer have the stamina of an 18 year old. So I pulled my back and I had to rest it for a couple of days but I'm okay now so I am gonna get back into it. I'm also planning to cook something a little bit more fancy tonight. So wag na yung mga egg and bacon bagels that I've been making recently. I wanna make something a bit more, you know, a little bit more gourmet. So that is what I am gonna do. Yeah, I'll take you guys with me. See you later. I'm gonna make some French toast. And then just beat everything. Just following this recipe on YouTube. <laughs> then gonna add two thirds cup milk. A pinch of salt. And a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Here it is. Lightly butter a griddle or skillet and heat it over medium high heat. Now I'm just gonna dunk each piece of bread into the mixture. Okay, now I just buttered a pan very lightly. Then, gonna dunk in the bread one by one. And that's really it. Just flip it when it's golden. And just after a few minutes, once you see that it's getting this really nice, like, golden coat, flip it over. So we just stuck the French toast and some pieces of bacon in the oven. These were pre-fried before we stuck them in the oven. Yum! Hey guys, what's up? Right now, I'm gonna be doing a workout on YouTube. It's all I've been following lately. I've been following YouTube workouts for years now. But I think it's only now that people have been seeing that YouTube is such a great resource for free workouts. With YouTube, there are no excuses. 
Because you can't anymore say that I don't have a trainer, I don't have gym equipment. Because these free workouts are things that you can do right in the comfort of your own home. Recently, I found this channel by a fitness guru, Heather Robertson, and I have been loving her workouts. Sobrang the best sila. Because unlike previous workout channels that I've subscribed to, this channel has workouts that have music in them and that have countdowns. So the workouts end up being really, really fun. It's an added bonus pa na hindi sila repetitious. Alam mo yun, yung repeat ng repeat ng repeat ng moves, ayoko yun. I get bored so, so easily. This channel, it's great. I'm gonna leave a link to it down below. Yeah, don't forget to keep active during this time because it's already science telling us that movement is medicine. Movement does have an effect on your mood, on your productivity, obviously on your wellness, your mental health. So let's all take advantage of that science and take advantage of free YouTube workouts. So yeah, let's work out. This is the workout that I have been doing lately. My favorite kind of workout is really high intensity interval training. Kasi hindi siya torture. Alam mo yung go, 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 go. I can't do that. I need rest in between exercises. And that's why I love HIIT. Kasi nga interval training siya. So there's a period of high intensity followed by rest. Then back to high intensity. So it just, it floats my boat. <laughs> I love HIIT. That is exactly what we're gonna do today. Let's go. Oh! 
right now outside the house we stepped out quickly you see Mike <laughs> in full coronavirus gear and pumunta lang kami ng lawyer because our house help husband um they received notice na they would be laid off from work for just a month naman because of the coronavirus situation. So, nagbigay kami sa anak niya. We gave her money for her kid. Kasi syempre, her kid is only around 3 or 4 years old. 3 ba gang? 3 or 4. 3. 3 years old and she still drinks milk, she still needs diapers, ganyan. And her husband is in charge of paying for those expenses. Yung expenses for their kid. So, yeah, we just gave her that money because she needed it. Then, we have a... <laughs> We have a passenger in the back. He is not wearing his seatbelt. Right, Pen? <laughs> pen? Pen, wear your seatbelt. Okay, so Pancho is in forced quarantine in our room. <laughs> By order of me. <laughs> Sayo mo naman sa quarantine, Pen. You don't even have to worry where your next meal is coming from. Do you like him? Huh? <laughs> I just asked if you like ah, them. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Mm, this Mike is checking out the. Uh, I was gonna say headphones, earbuds, pala to. The earbuds that he bought me for Christmas. Me, I got him shoes and Star Wars stuff that he hasn't worn yet. That was a fart. Did you smell that? Did you fart? <laughs> I love the color. Yeah. I usually go for black instinctively, pero gusto ko talaga yung color niyan. Puti ng book mo gang? Yeah, it's short. When it's long, it's not. Of course, Pancho is interested because he's always interested in things that don't concern him. Do a pan? <laughs> this is what we have come to. Oh, look at the cotton candy quarantine skies. Isn't that beautiful? Grabe. Even talaga in the hardest of times, we shouldn't forget that life is somehow still really beautiful. Doggy camera. <laughs> wow, you finally decided to take a chill pill. Invite me You're not usually this relaxed. Huh. Boo! <laughs> 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 